What is up, everybody? My name is Joseph Hazard, and I am here to display Artemis version uh, 1. This is what is, uh, you're going to see when you first download it from the GitHub. I'll go through each of the features real quick, and then display how each of the games work. The first thing is a welcome message. We have an FAQ. Uh, this is up to you if you read. They're pretty simple, not too bad. So we're going to go first to settings. Make sure that you have the correct one selected. Hit save and then close settings. It's not a big deal. Uh, mine's already configured, so of course it's going to work. Uh, you should note. Oh, hello. This is tagged for release. Uh, oh, okay. Well, the initial release is up. I will link uh, at in the description of the video, as well as the uh, as well as the uh, Reddit thread. So for now, uh, we're going to go through. Okay. So let's go to effects. So I had audio visualization on last, but as you can see, this is the debug effect. You can change how wide something is. This is more of a, a feature to make sure that it's working with your keyboard properly. If you want to change it all the way off, that's fine. Uh, I like it because it's actually pretty cool. And if you change this, you'll notice that it's all one color and changes more slowly. Or you can just disable rotating altogether, but I like it rotating. If you go to audio visualization, this is what we're going to show next. Uh, right now, this is just the default setting, so we're going to hit play. This is brick and mortar. It's a particularly... I like this song. I'm going to turn up the volume sensitivity a little bit because I turned the music down. So you can see it shows on the keyboard. Uh, I'm sorry that this is a bit sluggish. If you notice, my hands are really blurry. This this uh, camera is not very good. So, But I, I assure you that when you actually download it, it looks pretty fluid. Uh, as fluid as it shows on the preview or as fast as the keyboard can update which is pretty good if you ask me uh, so you can see it's kinda up in the same areas and everything's working real I'm gonna go ahead and stop this and close it out okay uh, last thing we have for effects is type waves we can just click this and it will go through the wave uh, if you click random and then maybe we want it to grow a little bit more sorry about that we can just do that alright it's a random color every time not a big deal. It looks great. Uh, let's disable that. So w one thing to note is that when you disable all of these effects, uh, and you can only have one active at a time, but when you disable all these effects, it goes back to whatever you have default in queue. This is what I have default because I play a lot of League and a lot of Rocket League. Those are my two main games, so this is what my default uh, keyboard looks like. Okay. Um, for games... We, uh, for games, we have The Witcher 3 support, which I will be cutting in uh, from. I will cut in a video of that from the developer who made most of the program. Uh, I just added the Corsair support, so yeah. Uh, we're going to go to effects, debug effect. Uh, oh, sorry, excuse me. Games, Rocket League. I'm going to show you Rocket League real quick. We're just going to make these two colors different for the uh, intent of the video. So as you can see, the keyboard has gone black, which means that it notices that a game is running, even though an, whoops, even though the effect, uh, none of the effects are on, so that Q does their default thing, it knows that a game is running and will then uh, recapture the keyboard for use with the game. So we're just going to go here real quick. Uh, I'm not used to using a uh, thing, so I apologize. As you can see on the keyboard, oh, excuse me for the uh, blurriness. Uh, we have the boost going up and then it goes from red to blue or blue to red like we had in the description as we go down it goes down and I assure you it's just as smooth uh, as it shows well as a progress bar would be I should say um, so it's it's just going down it looks great uh, the the program currently works for K65s uh, K95s K70s and strafes all from Corsair and the uh, Logitech G910 uh, Orion Spark I believe is what it's called. Uh, so it just goes down, and then you can change different colors, and maybe you want to make it, I don't know, green. So then it changes to green, and maybe you want it to be purple. Now it's purple and green, and it shows as a gradient on your keyboard as well. Alright, the next game we're going to show you, if I can quit this out, is going to be CSGO. Let me quickly load up Steam. Counter-Strike Global Offensive. So we have a lot more uh, settings for CSGO. Uh, you just, I also, uh, didn't do this, so you can just show, whoa, my mouse goes a little bit weird when CSGO starts, because Logitech also has their little thing. Uh, actually, I've already configured this, so I'm pretty sure if I leave it, it'll work correctly, but just for, uh, intensive purposes of the stream, I'm going to show you, just go to Steam Apps, Common, 
and go to Counter Strike Global Offensive and hit OK. It's that means it's working. You hit save. No, not a big deal. You can pick the two colors here. I'm just gonna pick uh, green and green because it's simple. So let's go offline real quick, and I will show you the uh, couple different couple different things. Uh, there's a couple things I want to show you. Let me whoop, let's get this over quick. So I want to show you the uh, display the ammo, which is it's going. It says the F keys, but it also means G F and uh, this these three print screen. Uh, scroll lock and pause break. We uh, support all of them. It, if you also noticed, uh, I said green and green, so that's just my personal. Or excuse me, I don't have pause break on my version of the program, but the full version of the program has it. I'm using a slightly old, like one patch old version of the program, but rest assured it will work um, when you download it. So, anyways, when you shoot, your ammo goes down like that. When you reload, it'll go back up. Uh, all right. Let's find some players or some uh, boss to kill. There's only two places they can plant the bomb. There you are. Oh, oh my. This is not good. All right. We had a uh, we had a bit of an oopsies. Okay. Let's uh, restart the game. Come on. Come on. New round. All right. So now we're going to show you the uh, grenades, flashbang, incendiary, and smoke. Um, I'm using incendiary just so that I can control how much damage I take. So when you get flashed, your keyboard goes white. Excuse me about that. When you get smoked, if you walk into it, your keyboard gradually goes to gray. The more you're in it, the lighter it becomes. And incendiary grenade I'm going to use. So if you are hurt, I believe it's anything under 25, yep. Your keyboard turns red to display that you are low health, and then when you die, it just goes back. Uh, if I can die here, then I can show you. Uh, interesting side effect. Come here. Look at me. Shoot me. Okay. Interesting side effect of the uh, color changing for the teams is that if you're spectating uh, and you're on a terrorist, it should... There you go. It changes to uh, orange, so this is what it would look like if you're on the terrorist side. And the last one is the Witcher, and I'm going to cut that in in a minute. Okay, so that was the Witcher, and the last thing I have to show you is overlays, so check this out. We're going to go to debug. So let's say you're listening to music and you want to turn your volume up. This shows that you, it's your, it's an overlay, it goes over your current thing and it shows how much volume you have. Maybe it'll uh, look better on the audio. Just hit play there. See, it goes up. It goes back down. So that's it. Uh, that's how the uh, audio overlay works. Just like that. No big deal. And then when you stop doing it, it should go away. Perfect. Uh, please note that when you don't have any effects working, it won't do the overlay. Uh, we will fix that in a later release, as well as this is a couple. This is a little bit buggy, but we'll fix that in a later release. Uh, thank you for watching. That is Artemis. I will link a download link below. Enjoy.